Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna start every video like this because I'm so excited about doing all these videos I've wanted to do for so long, but I've got my first ever monthly favorites video. Yes, I got quite a few requests for a what I got for my birthday video, but those videos, they seem a little bit too materialistic for me. Um, it's quite like showy offy. So I thought I would show you a couple of the things I got, but I'm not gonna do a massive list of everything I got because, well, it's just not needed. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some things that I've been really liking this month. There's a couple of pieces of furniture and decoration. There's some gin, there's a bit of makeup, there's a bit of skincare. There is even a hat and I shall explain that later. Let's start with a hat because June is a very important month in our household because it's Royal Ascot. Royal Ascot is basically a week of racing in the city or town, town of Ascot. And my fiance Will goes every year. He's been for about five years in the Royal Enclosure where the men have to wear morning suits, which have the tails and the top hats. And the women have to wear, well, dresses below the knee and they have to wear a hat with I think a minimum of a four inch base. Um, so you cannot wear a fascinator, it has to be a hat. And I have got my hat this year. It is this one and I'm very excited. I'm going to wear this white dress with it, which I got from Karen Millen. I think it's still available. I got this hat from Etsy from the most amazing hat designer called Ruby Bows Bridal. I'll put a link in the description box. Obviously this isn't sponsored. Um, I bought this hat from there. It cost me 60 pounds and they have hats of all different colors. Oh God. This hair is meant to last me till the pub tonight. <laughs> Ow. Does it look okay? Yeah, so this hat cost 60 pounds, which I think is quite good for a hat bought online. She has some more expensive ones on there. I think she has some slightly cheaper ones as well. She has every single color and the quality is amazing. I bought the most atrocious hat on eBay for 19 pounds. And when it arrived, I thought, yep, do you know what? I got it for 19 pounds, but it looks about nine pounds. <laughs> Look at the difference. This is all solid, beautifully formed. And this, wiggly, <laughs> the sticky bits aren't even the same color as the rest of the hat. It might not come across on camera how cheap and nasty looking this hat is, but it's like faded, there's dirt on it. Yeah, wasn't happy. So I do think that you get what you pay for there. My next favorite was a birthday gift and this was from my aunt Roslyn. My aunt Roslyn has got seriously good style, especially when it comes to interiors. Her house is a dream house. It's gorgeous. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. <laughs> and she got us because it was my birthday present and my housewarming present for the future house, which is delayed at the moment. We should be moving in j mid July to late July, but honestly, it's a big old delay. She got me a milk crate. Now you might think that this is so random, but honestly, this is amazing. We get our milk delivered because we live in a village. It's very convenient. And also we like to support the local dairy farmers. But at the moment, we our front door goes straight out onto the high street, onto a pavement. So we can't put our clean milk bottles outside the door for them to collect. We have to do it on the day of, otherwise they could get knocked over. But in our new house, we will have a doorstep and I will be able to put this on here. Uh, I absolutely love it. I'll see if I can find out the brand for you and I'll put it in the description box. But yes, it's made of iron. It's got a gorgeous wooden handle and I absolutely love it. Um, next book of the month, or rather audio book of the month, because I don't like to read. Um, I like to listen to my books, but I'm listening to The Woman Who Fooled the World and it's about Belle Gibson, who was an Australian Instagrammer who pretended that she had brain cancer and built this entire Instagram brand called The Whole Pantry. She had an app on iPhones. It was one of the apps when the Apple Watch launched and it turned out that she never had cancer, but she was selling this natural lifestyle as a cure and lots of people with cancer tried this lifestyle and shunned traditional cancer treatment. She essentially put 
loads of people's life at risk. Um, and I, it was weird because when I was younger, in about 2013, I was really into wellness and eating really healthy foods. I still am now, but I think I believed a lot more in the power of food. The whole clean eating trend was really big. And I followed her and I thought she was such an amazing woman. So this book is like a documentary of her journey. What happened before, what happened when it all fell apart and what's happening now. I highly recommend it. I will leave the link to both the book and the audiobook in the description box. You can get it for free on Audible if you sign up for a free trial. You get one free audiobook, so that's really good. This isn't sponsored, I'm just an affiliate, but Audible is something I pay for and use myself. Right, shall we talk about a beauty product? Slightly different one today, I have found the perfume of my life. Okay, I'm not gonna say of my life, I'm gonna say the perfume for a very long time. I love this perfume. It's called Hibiscus Palm and it's by Erin, which if I'm correct is by Estee Lauder. It's just the most summery, gorgeous scent. It's got quite a few notes of jasmine in it, but I've had so many compliments. This is my second bottle. I've already gone through a big one, but I've been wearing it loads and I don't normally get many compliments on the way I smell, <laughs> but I've had loads on this. Um, waitresses at restaurants, random people at the pub. Someone asked me on a dog walk the other day, so I know it's working because I never normally have anyone talk about the way I smell. And it was actually my neighbor who introduced me to this. Um, I kissed her hello and said, oh my God, you smell like heaven <laughs> and she told me what it was so yeah loving this highly recommend you go and have a smell but i warn you it's incredibly expensive definitely ask for a sample because they have really cute little samples and i keep them in my handbag we're going to talk about a gin now <laughs> i wouldn't normally put alcohol in my videos but this one is so special and so delicious I just have to mention it, it um, I got given a bottle of this by my mum for my birthday because we were out going out for a drink the other day and she wanted to order a drink and I said, you've got to have this one. It's Brockman's, it's in the black bottle, a black opaque bottle. Um, I first tried this on the night that Will and I got engaged. Will's brother introduced me to it and said, oh, you've got to have this one. And if you like fruity gins, um, but almost find them too strong and overpowering. Like, like some of the pink gins, they're too sweet, they're too artificial tasting. It's got notes of blackberry and blueberry, but it's the aftertaste and it's really weird, but really nice. You've got to try it to know what it's like. Um, and I even gave it to my friend who said she absolutely doesn't like gin and she really liked it. Um, and I've been drinking it with this, my other latest discovery, which is the Fever Tree Refreshingly Light Cucumber Tonic. These together make the most incredible gin and tonic that doesn't taste too much like gin, that doesn't taste too much like berry. It's just a wonderful blend of everything. Serve it with a couple of frozen strawberries, maybe a slice of cucumber if you have it. It's just summer in a glass. Double measure, <laughs> who knows, it's amazing. It is on the pricey side, but if you're on the market for a luxury gin, and you want something slightly different on your alcohol shelf, because I presume you have an alcohol shelf, <laughs> doesn't everyone? Um, then definitely put Brockman's on it, or at least try it next time you go to a pub. Let's do another beauty product, or rather two. Um, these are both fake tanning products, um, and I have been in love with them. Um, if I want to do a deep tan, like an overnight tan, this is the best. It's the Saint Tropez, self tan purity bronzing water mousse it's really not messy it doesn't smell bad it dries really really quickly i just put it on with a mitt at night sleep in it will doesn't mind too much if i have it on he um doesn't love the smell of fake tan so this one is about as good as it's gonna get um, and it gives a really nice even tan but it's not too dark I've also got a really good tan for daytime. This is the Skinny Tan Tan and Tone Oil. Now, I had seen loads and loads of hype about this product on Facebook. And I almost, because I'm, you know, from a marketing background, I thought, that is so much hype that it cannot be real. Um, this must be just created hype. But I bit the bullet and I wanted to try it um, and really, really like it. It's not an oil, don't be fooled by the name, it's an emulsion. I've got it on at the moment, I can wear it quite happily underneath clothes. 
it's quite light. They've got a medium one as well, which I might try. Uh, but the dream team is to use the Saint Tropez at night, wash it off, top up with this in the day, and then by the evening, you will just look golden and lovely. Let's do another house item, decor item, and this is another birthday present. Now, I adore fruit, um, and I would love to fill my house with decorations of fruit, but sometimes they're too colorful. They're not quite the aesthetic I'm going for. My mum bought me these. She bought me two of the copper apples and one copper pear, so you can have all three of them in a bowl on a coffee table, and they just, they're just so beautiful. They are so beautiful. Uh, I was in a shop with her and saw them and said, oh my God, they are amazing. But then I forgot about them. So I was so surprised when she got them for me. They were relatively in inexpensive. I if I can find the make of them, um, then I'll, I'll link it down below. But I just thought, what a lovely addition to the home. It satisfies my fruit decoration cravings, but in a moderately classy way. <laughs> okay, next up we've got a sort of health and beauty product. It's a deodorant. I don't use deodorants with aluminium in them. I basically won't use any chemical deodorants. I haven't done for years. Um, and I, def I don't use any antiperspirants either, which is why sometimes in my videos you might see sweat marks. Um, but I really think if sweat, come, sweat comes out for a reason and blocking it all up inside of you can't be a good idea. So I use, I use natural deodorants and this is the best one I found. I have used this for about four years. Um, it is the Urtukram, Urtukram, someone's gonna tell me off for mispronouncing that, Lime Roll-On Crystal Deodorant. It's got potassium alum in it, which is a salt that's really effective at destroying bacteria so you don't have any body odor. And that's kind of dispersed in water and glycerin, so it's really moisturizing for your underarm because there's nothing worse than a dry underarm, is there? It smells, well, like lime because it's got lime essential oil in it, but it smells really, like, really lovely, like a sweet, almost like a lime sweet. And um, I have tried the other flavors. The eucalyptus really didn't do anything for me. Um, this one is just the freshest and the nicest, it's not overpowering and it works really, really well. I don't think I've had body odor since I've been using this. This combats body odor in quite a good way and I notice if I forget to wear it. I get a sort on Amazon, it's around five pounds um, and it lasts me about six months. So to spend 10 pounds a year on deodorant, really, really good, I think. Another favorite is a hairstyle that I've been really enjoying. Um, it is a messy bun and I've got it in today. Not sure what it's gonna look like on camera, but it's so easy to do. I can do a little video on how I style my hair if I don't want to curl it or anything. I styled my hair yesterday, I curled it, and so, but it got really wet in the rain, so I just put it up like this for filming. Really, really like it. Takes about 10 minutes to do, so it's really good. No bobby pins whatsoever, it just takes two hairbands. Another beauty product, or two, um, this is, these are two that Benefit sent me. You might have seen it on my Instagram. It's their new Hello Happy foundations. So you've got the velvet powder and then the brightening foundation. And I've actually got them on today. So I would like your feedback. Do you notice a difference? Do you think it looks good? What do you think? I really, really like it. I think they did a good job of guessing my skin color. So this is number two. I would go for number three. Um, and the powder seemed really good at absorbing any shine on my face because I have a huge, oh, I have a huge issue with shine when I'm filming videos because my lights are really bright and really hot and I can't open a window because my studio faces the street and children shout at me, which I don't mind, bless, bless the children. The next favorite, and this is possibly my favorite favorite, is both what I got for Will for his birthday because it was a week before mine and what Will got for me. Um, so I'll show you first what I got for Will. I got Will a navy blue shuffle fleece. I don't know how well you can see it. It's basically a really nice brand of fleece. It has a nice high collar. It's really, really warm and they just look really smart. Um, yeah, navy blue, long sleeve. Will, when he opened that, really started laughing and I couldn't quite understand why until it got to my birthday. <laughs> And what do you know, <laughs> he had got me a long sleeve navy shuffle fleece. <laughs> 
So we actually got each other exactly the same birthday present, but Will outdid me and got me a second present, which was a blueberry bush, which obviously I'm not gonna bring into my studio and show you because it's in a really heavy pot. Um, but if you know me, you will know that I love fruit. Well, yeah, I love fruit and I love fruit trees and just trees in general. Um, I'm a bit of a collector of trees and my dream is to one day have somewhere where I can plant them in the ground because they're all in pots at the moment. But yes, I was very happy with this because I get really, really cold in the winter. This is quite an agricultural style thing. You're probably looking at this and thinking, what on earth is she wearing? <laughs> a fleece, who gets a fleece for their birthday? But honestly, they are a dream when you're out in the field and, um, and they, I just really like the collar and I think they look really smart. I've got a navy gilet version as well, um, which looks really nice underneath coats. Last products are two by Ola Henriksen. I've mentioned him before, his brand before in my um, skincare video, uh, but I had some extra points to use in boots and so I like to save them up. And I bought these with them and this is the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum which is a collagen boosted True C complex. Um, it's a vitamin C serum. Uh, I haven't been using it long enough to notice a difference, but, okay, and also I've used vitamin C serums for years. I normally use the Drunk Elephant vitamin C serum, but I thought I would just switch it up um, just to see what happens. And I'm finding this a lot more gentle on my skin. I've been, I had been getting really sore around my nose here and around my lips um, and this isn't making it any worse. And the other vitamin C serum I was using from Drunk Elephant, I had to be really careful not to put it around these areas because it was quite strong. Yeah, I really like it. It smells really good and it goes into my skin really easily. This one is the Goodnight Glow Retinol Sleeping Creme and it's an alternative to retinol. Now I use retinol anyway. I've been using this for my nights off on retinol. Um, this has got Pacuchial in it, which is a retinol alternative. Um, and it's also got AHAs, and that's mainly why I use it. Um, I've been using it all around here um, on my nights off from retinol, and I've been really liking it. I wake up with very smooth skin, and I think that's the AHAs that have been eating away all the dead stuff. Right, that's it for this month's favorite video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any recommendations for videos, please comment them down below, and let me know if you want to see more favorite videos. It's very easy for me to film them, so I'd be, I'd happily do it for you. You can connect with me on all of my social media. I'm very active on Instagram, and I've also got Twitter. And I shall see you soon for another video.